Hello everyone. A very good afternoon and welcome to my course Basic Physics. This course is generally made for first year, first semester diploma degree students. Myself, Gopal Chakraborty, Assistant Professor, Department of Physics, Greater Kolkata College of engineering and management Baraipur so you can personally meet me at college premises ground floor physics lab or you can also send me a mail regarding your query or doubt on this topic that is dimension so uh, I have a YouTube channel you can subscribe my YouTube channel because I have already uploaded lots of video on this subject basic physics as per state council syllabus so the students uh, you go through that video and if you feel any doubt please contact me at my mail address that is given here god physics 6 at the rate gmail.com or gopal dot chakravarti underscore g k c e m at the rate g i s group dot o r g so uh, for this today's topic i am here subject teacher Now the corresponding course pages are www.websce.org or www.websce.co.in. The syllabus of the subject basic physics is already uploaded in the university website so students you can download the syllabus first year first semester syllabus from the state council website as I have given here so title of the course is basic physics it is under the category of basic science course it has a credit 3 2 lecture and 2 practical per week so this course is generally made for diploma degree students of first year first semester only so uh, all branches except architecture photography multimedia and painting technology students have to study this course so as per our college electrical and electronics and communication engineering these departmental students will going to study this course basic physics for their first year first semester now today the topic that i will going to be discuss are dimensions so that means dimensions of physical quantity principles of dimension and principle of dimensional homogeneity example with explanations limitations of dimensional analysis so uh, these topics are also under unit 1 which is unit dimension and measurement prerequisite for these topics are basic mathematics knowledge to solve problems knowledge of basic concept science such as physics the course objectives are learned the use of dimensional analysis in physics and engineering fields so after completion of this course student will able to know the use of dimensional analysis in physics and in physics engineering fields 
they will also able to calculate the dimensions of any physical quantity as given so uh, these are considered to be as possible course outcome so uh, before going to start today's class uh, the students those who have missed the last class that I have already uploaded uh, related to the units uh, please go through that class once again because uh, you need to know you need have an idea of you need for, to understand today's class without knowing the unit uh, it will be uh, very difficult for you to understand or how you will express the dimension of some physical quantity okay as today it is the second class and I will going to discuss you regarding the dimension of physical quantity so uh, you need to know what is unit as we have discussed that uh, physical units are basically of two types one is fundamental unit second one is derived unit so uh, seven fundamental or base units are there each has a dimension so all the physical quantities that can be expressed in sum of by the seven most fundamental physical units okay so uh, these each units have a dimension so first of all to describe to express that physical quantity yeah, you need to know what are the dimension corresponding to these units and basically what are the dimension of fundamental units see here as we have considered that uh, if you express uh, the area that is two dimensional case so area can be unit uh, it has a unit meter square okay so you need to know what is the dimension of that meter so meter square will be expressed in that way okay and if it is a volume so it will be in three dimension so in that case again a uh, meter cube uh, basic one is meter so you need to know the dimension of meter so uh, here uh, the nature of the physical quantities uh, is described uh, by nature of the dimension when you observed uh, an object the first things we notice its dimension so uh, in fact we are also defined or observed with respect to the dimensions that is height weight the amount of flesh etc so uh, the dimension of the body means how it's relatable in terms of the base physical quantities so when we define the dimension of the physical quantity we generally defines its identity and existence so it is very clear to you that uh, dimension plays a very important role in physics to define the physical quantities and it is a special form of express uh, express the physical quantity with the most fundamental seven quantities so now i will show you how uh, you will describe or express this dimension of that physical quantities so uh, as i am talking about the dimension of physical quantities is defined as the power to which the fundamental quantities are raised in order to represent the quantity the seven fundamental quantities are enclosed in square bracket to represent its dimension so uh, as an example the dimension of length is described as capital L within a square bracket the dimension of time is described as capital T within a square bracket the dimension of mass is described as capital M within a square bracket 
The dimension of electric current is described as capital A within a square bracket and the dimension of amount of quantity can be described as mole within a square bracket. Adding further, the dimension of temperature is Kelvin that is denoted by capital K within a square bracket. And that dimension of luminous intensity that is capital C small d within a square bracket, so which is the unit candela. So, uh, in general way, how can you express a dimension of some physical quantities? So, uh, let us consider a physical quantity capital Q, which depends on base quantities like length, mass, time, electric current, and the amount of sustains and temperature. So, when they are raised to a power a small a small b small c small d and small d and small f so the dimensions of the physical quantity capital q can be written as within square bracket capital q equals to within square bracket l to the power a capital m to the power b capital t to the power c capital a to the power d mole to the power e and capital K to the power F. So uh, it is mandatory for use for us that is square bracket in order to write the dimension of a physical quantity. But in real life everything is written in terms of dimension of mass, length and time. So uh, these three are the most important within that seven fundamental physical quantity and its dimensions. So now uh, it will be very easier for you to understand uh, if I will explain with considering some examples. So let us consider a physical quantity area. Okay. So area, uh, what is this unit? It units is uh, meter square that means it is two dimensional so length into length so that is meter square okay so what is the dimension of meter that is capital L within square bracket okay so as the power is two meter square so the dimension of area is L square within square bracket similarly uh, if you consider a volume so which is which is unit meter cube so corresponding dimension will be a to the power 3 within bracket square bracket okay so uh, you can consider also as a say let us consider velocity so velocity means uh, as you know it is a displacement per unit time so displacement means or distance by time that means uh, meter per second that is the unit of the velocity so meter has a dimension l and second that has a dimension capital t so as meter has a power one and the time the second it has a power minus one so you can represent the dimension of the velocity L t to the power minus 1 within square bracket. So these are the examples of dimension of some physical quantities and how we will express that physical quantities uh, in terms of dimensions. Now uh, another important thing is that uh, different types of variable and constant is there. So, how can we classify the variables and constant on the basis of dimension? That things you also need to know. So, uh, define types of variable and constants on the basis of dimension. We can classify quantities into four categories. First one is dimensional variables. The physical quantities which possesses 
dimensions and have variable values are called dimensional variables so uh, as an example that is area volume velocity force etc second one that is dimensionless variable the physical quantities which have no dimensions but have variable values are called dimensionless variables so as an example that is angle specific gravity strain etc third one dimensional constant the physical quantities which possess dimensions and have constant values are called dimensional constants as an example that is gravitational constant planck constant etc and fourth one that is dimensionless constant the constant quantities having no dimensions are called dimensionless constant for an example uh, pi e etc so uh, these are your dimensions okay so as the dimension uh, has some advantage it has also some limitations so first of all i will describe these advantages and then the limitations of these dimensions so uh, what are the advantage or benefits of dimensions before writing dimensions of a physical quantity it is must know a thing to understand why do we need dimensions and what are the benefits of writing a physical quantity benefits of describing a physical quantity are as follows that is describing dimensions help in understanding the relation between physical quantity and its dependence on base or fundamental quantities that is how dimensions of a body rely on mass time length temperature etc dimensions are used in dimensional analysis where we use them to convert and interchange units dimensions are used in predicting unknown formula by just studying how a certain body depends on base quantities and up to which extent it makes measurement and study of physical quantities easier we are able to identify or observe a quantity just because of its dimension and lastly the dimensions define objects and their existence so as i have already shown you that uh, with an example how the dimension is depends on the uh, depends on the most seven fundamental uh, basic physical quantity and its dimension so uh, as we are talking about say acceleration acceleration is rate of change of velocity as you know so it has a unit uh, meter per second square so uh, meter it has a power 1 and per second square it has a power minus 2 so uh, it can be expressed in forms of dimension that is l t to the power minus 2 within a square bracket but uh, you see that l uh, it is it is a dimension of length and t it is a dimension of time so here this physical quantity is uh, acceleration is actually relates with the basic fundamental uh, quantities that is length and time and its unit also so here uh, these are the benefits of dimensions so now i will show you what are the limitations of dimension so now uh, what are the limitations of dimensions 
So uh, besides being a very useful quantity, there are many limitations of the dimension. So which are as follows, that a dimension cannot be used in trigonometric and exponential functions. Dimensions never define exact form of relation. We can't find the values of certain constant in physical relation with the help of this dimension. A dimensionally correct equation may not be the correct equation always. So uh, these are the limitations of the dimensions and its use. So uh, these are the basics of dimensions. Um, so uh, I will show you uh, lots of examples where uh, it will be very easier for you to understand how we'll express that physical quantities in terms of dimension. And these are the basic things that you need to know for the next class that means where I will uh, discuss about the uh, equation derivation using dimension analysis so before that uh, you just study and practice those examples that i will show you uh, so that it will be very easier for you to derive the dimension of some given physical quantities so uh, here is our first examples uh, the dimension of length that is l breadth b height h depth d thickness t with w circumference c uh, perimeter p distance s uh, displacement s and radius r diameter d r l to the power 1 m to the power 0 t to the power 0 within square bracket so dimension of mass r within square bracket l to the power 0 m to the power 1 t to the power 0 and that of time are uh, within square bracket l to the power 0 m to the power 0 t to the power 1 so uh, how can you express the dimension and units of area so area is equals to length into breadth so length into breadth means uh, area it has a dimension say capital a within square bracket that's equals to or length into breadth so these two are actually uh, the same units that is length okay so you just put length into length that means uh, corresponding dimension l to the power 1 m to the power 0 t to the power 0 within square bracket into l to the power 1 m to the power 0 t to the power 0 so ultimately you will get the dimensions of area are L square m to the power 0 t to the power 0 within square bracket so the SI unit of area is square meter and the CGS unit of area is square centimeter second one that is a dimension and unit of volume so volume can be written as length into breadth into height that means actually it is a multiply of length into length into length so this lengths are having the dimension l to the power 1 m to the power 0 t to the power 0 within square bracket these multiplied by l to the power 1 m to the power 0 t to the power 0 and again multiply with l to the power 1 m to the power 0 t to the power 0 so ultimately makes the dimension of volume as l cubed m to the power 0 t to the power 0 within square bracket so the si unit of volume is uh, meter cube and the cgs unit of volume is uh, centimeter cube next one the dimension of density rho so as we know the density can be defined as mass per unit volume so rho equals to m by v now uh, 
a mass so dimension of mass is l to the power 0 m to the power 1 t to the power 0 within the square bracket and this whole by a cube m to the power 0 t to the power 0 so as it is a volume so if you substitute this uh, ultimately you will get the dimension of the density rho that is equals to l cube m to the power 1 t to the power 0 so uh, these are the dimensions of density so l to the power minus 3 so as it will be uh, volume is in the denominator so l to the power minus 3 m to the power 1 and t to the power 0 so si unit of density is kilogram per cubic meter and cgs unit is gram per cubic centimeter next one uh, the dimensions of acceleration that is change in velocity with respect to time I have already discussed this uh, that is uh, velocity by time so the velocity has a uh, dimension l to the power 1 m to the power 0 t to the power minus 1 and the time is l to the power 0 m to the power 0 t to the power minus 1 so that means the dimensions of acceleration is m l to the power 1 m to the power 0 t to the power minus 2 so uh, these are the uh, dimensions of the accelerations next one uh, that is very very important the dimension of unit and force so the force uh, that can be written as mass into acceleration so uh, force equals to mass into acceleration that is f equals to m a so m uh, mass the uh, dimension of this mass is l to the power 0 m to the power 1 t to the power 0 within square bracket and acceleration that thing is i have already derived that is l to the power 1 m to the power 0 t to the power minus 2 so uh, if you calculate ultimately calculate rearranging you get the force having a dimension l to the power 1 m to the power 1 t to the power minus 2 so the si unit of force is kilogram meter per square second this unit is also known as Newton and uh, CGS unit of acceleration is greater uh, is a gram centimeter per square second uh, this unit is known as dyne next one the dimensions and unit of work done so work done that is force into displacement force that is uh, Newton uh, that means kg meter per second square which has a dimension l to the power 1 m to the power 1 t to the power minus 2 within square bracket and the uh, force into displacement uh, that can be written as l to the power 1 m to the power 0 t to the power 0 so uh, combining what we get we get the work done having a, a dimension that is l, to l square m to the power 1 t to the power minus 2 so the si unit of work is kg square meter per square second and commonly this unit is uh, known as joule and the cgs unit of work is gram square centimeter per second so commonly this is known as arc next one the dimensions and unit of pressure so pressure means that is a force per unit area p equals to f by a so force is l to the power 1 m to the power 1 t to the power minus 2 within square bracket and the area that means l square m to the power 0 t to the power 0 within square bracket so the dimensions of pressure are l to the power minus 1 m to the power 1 t to the power uh, minus 1 and t to the power minus 2 and the SI unit of pressure is SI uh, that is Newton per second square meter or the Pascal and the CGS unit of pressure is time per square centimeter so uh, these are the possible books that you can refer for your subject basic physics 
so the evaluation process are same uh, you have to appear for a 70 marks end semester exam and 20 marks mid semester exam the 10 marks for attendance assignment or interaction so hope all of you have understand and enjoyed today's class in next class i'll complete that chapter dimension thank you